and welcome to the latest FC Cymru. You join us in Blind Avon and the uh, famous ironworks that they have here and of course the Dan James monolith uh, which we are continuing to collect as we travel around Wales. What a fantastic group stage it's been. The game against Italy, wow, well, we didn't win, but we're into the last 16 and Wales is absolutely buzzing. And I'm joined by Mrs. Howells, who's from the local primary school, the head teacher, no less, of uh, Blind Avon Primary. Listen, thank you so much for joining us. No and, problem uh, at all. It's yeah. great. It's great to be here. Um, you know, we didn't even know this existed, so it's fantastic to bring the children up to see this today. Wonderful. Yeah, wonderful stuff. And we understand you guys have been really buying into the Euros and the kids have been absolutely loving it. We have indeed. They absolutely love football and, uh, you know, from my own point of view, massive fan, massive football fan, and especially Wales, of course, you know, and, and to get to the Euros again is just uh, an amazing achievement. So yeah, all going well at the moment. Wonderful stuff. So what's been happening at the school? How have you guys been sort of buying into it or, uh, or using it as, as a sort of teaching tool with the children? Yeah, well, we've been doing, we've been undertaking quite, quite a few activities linked uh, to the Euros, particularly with uh, the maths. Uh, there's a, there's a, um, a programme at the moment which is encouraging all, all schools to sort of take part and it's a little bit of a competition. Um, so that's what we've been focusing, uh, focusing on at the moment. The maths, trying to climb the leaderboard and uh, put Blenavon on the map really for the maths. I understand you guys all went red for uh, Wales last week. We did indeed, yes. Uh, all the children dressed in red to support Wales. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't all get together as we normally would on, on such occasions. But every class, you know, they did their bit. Uh, supporting Valindra Hospital as well, which uh, we, we had a collection for. So, yeah, all good. Oh, wonderful stuff, wonderful stuff. Well, listen, I'm not wearing red today because uh, this is a Cardigan Town shirt, which I was given last week. So I promised the guys I'd be wearing it and it's beautiful. So thank you very much. If you haven't watched that episode, go back. There are loads of FC coming for the last couple of weeks, which keep you company until game day on Saturday. But we are about to hit the cute factor, aren't we? We are indeed, big time. Yeah, Mrs. House has brought down a very special guest for us to meet with the children. So let's go across to Mika. Thanks, Lawrence. I'm here with the children from Blind Avon Primary School and a very special guest. Who can introduce me here? Raya. Raya, and what does Raya do? Because she's sitting very good right now. So who is she? She is our well-being dog for the school. <laughs> she is very lovely and I'm hoping that she's not going to distract me from this interview. But I know that you guys have been supporting Wales a lot in your school, haven't you? Last week you wore red for Wales and you're supporting them again today. How much have you been loving watching them? Mm, good. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> how, much, how, ma how many times have you been able to support them? What have you been doing to support Wales? Um, we're in red school and all. We're in red to school, and who is our favourite players on the team? Uh, Aaron Ramsey. Mine's Keeper Moore because he plays for Cardiff. Keeper Moore because he plays for Cardiff. I'm going to go down here. Uh, mine is um, Gareth Bale. Gareth Bale. Gareth Bale. Gareth Bale. Gareth Bale. Gareth Bale. Lots of Gareth Bale supporters here. We love the whole team though, don't we, as well? Yeah. Have we got any messages that we would like to give the team for support? Uh, we wish you the best of luck from BHBC Primary School. Uh, we love to play football at break time and our wish is to become a Wales player one day. Can we get a nice big Go Wales so that they can hear you all the way from here? Three, two, one. Go, go Wales! Oh, amazing. I'm sure they heard that. I'm definitely sure they heard that. Well, we headed to Kilgetty for a BT Connected Clubs Day. Matty Jones gave a bit of a masterclass, so let's check that out. <laughs> Kilgetty Football Club and I'm with Matty Jones, ex-Welsh international, West Wales legend. Matty, what an incredible turnout here today. Oh wow Mika, this is what uh, grassroots football, domestic football is all about isn't it? Young children with smiles on their faces, uh, a range of different football shirts but I'm proud to see that there's many Welsh shirts out there as well so really engrossed and and excited to get started with these young children. Yes, and get started you will in a second. We're going to be learning more about the BT Connected Clubs and how they help Kildetti as well. But less talking, more doing, go and get coaching. Right. 
Lucas, it's a fantastic event here today, but what does it mean to be a BT Connected Club? Well, originally, um, when we started the partnership, um, BT came in and they've put connectivity into the clubhouse. Um, they've kind of given us free Wi-Fi uh, connectivity for three years, which is kind of amazing for like a grassroots club with you know very little finances, to be fair. So that's, that's a real sort of uh, bonus for us. Kind of uh, exposure as well that it gives us. I mean, events like today is fantastic. And it, it, so, it sort of raises our profile within the community as well. And we've got like mums and dads up on the roads watching and things like that. And, it, 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 it sort of shows to, to everybody else as well what we're about and it, it just gives us that level of exposure. What makes this club so special? It's all about the community, bringing everybody together and um, you know just, just getting the local people to enjoy and have fun and play sport, play football. It's, it's like a family really. Yeah. I have found Chloe, Bethany and Macy and we're going to find out what they love about Kilgetty Football Club. Chloe? I like the the coach is really good and like the one of the best coaches. Oh, it's so lovely. Um, I like playing with my teammates and learning, learning more skills. Learning skills. Um, it's the same with Chloe and Bethany, um, the skills playing with my teammates and the coach. If you do something wrong and you make a mistake, that it's okay, you try to perfect it, you make it right, or you try a different technique that may, may make the situation easy for you. Matty, did you have fun coaching out there? Oh, Mika, how can you not have fun? These, these children are so infectious, you know, the, the range of age group this year, um, you know, the passion differs between one child to the next child. They're wonderful, they're engaging in everything they're doing, they're, they're disciplined and, and they're obviously listening to the coaches, which speaks volumes for the, for the club, you know, in terms of what they put in place, the expectation of these young children when they come. But ultimately, as you can see, you look at every practice that's going on, it's all fun generated and, and that's the key within, within um, the grassroots football. And I suppose how important are these BT Connected clubs and how, how do they help the clubs, how do they help the community? as well? Well, the, the introduction of, of any sponsor, but BT particularly, has been you know, a great addition to any, any small you know, grassroots club. And, and I think, like you speak to parents this morning, all coaches, they need, need so much. And even if that's a bag of balls, or you know, a set of nets, or a pack of cones, whatever it, it may be, it's, it's, you know, it's everything that, that, that will help and, and nurture and promote football within the community. And BT are getting it right because the, you know, what, what they, they're doing is allowing um, opportunities for the, these youngsters to get out on the grass. You know, it's, it's a great brand and it's one that supports many, many positive things. Wonderful event at Kilgetty. Thanks so much to BT. Thank you to the unbelievably enthusiastic Matty Jones. What an absolute legend. Now, we've left by now from behind. We've taken the car and we've whipped across to Abba Valley and you can tell exactly why it's called Abba Valley. This is absolutely stunning. And behind me is a huddle session taking place. They only introduced it a few weeks ago, but fair to say it has captured the imagination. Come on, let's go, let's get stuck in. Listen, when the idea came to do a huddle session, what were your thoughts about it? Did you think it was going to take off the way it has? Because this is incredible. Definitely not. I never thought we'd get the numbers that we've been getting. Um, the first couple of weeks, I think we had we were inundated with um, sort of numbers, um, sort of 40, 50, 60. And then we've, I think over the last six weeks, we've averaged sort of 38 to 40 girls every week, which is incredible. And uh, like you said, I didn't anticipate this whatsoever, I've got to be honest, so um, yeah. Lucy, this is amazing. Like, we were watching you in the middle there, you look an actual natural huddle coach. Uh, well, um, I'm a PE teacher anyway by trade, so obviously um, when Daryl asked me did I want to help set up um, a girls football club in the Valley, I jumped at the opportunity, if I'm honest. Fantastic, so you're doing your online leaders course at the moment? Is that yes, right? so um, they're putting me through with the leaders course, because even though I am, like I said, a PE teacher by trade, uh, football isn't my specialism, so um, 
I'm learning as well as I go along, so that's that's great as well. You think the Wales runs doing uh, doing good and kind of uh, getting them engaged? Oh, a hundred percent. And I think you know women's football is on on the rise, um, as you know. And I just think it's getting Hello. more <laughs> <laughs> it's getting more and more popular. And you know they you know they come in with their team with their teams on. They're speaking about football in the house, and then um, you know we're just encouraging them to to engage in more sport as we go along. And we've got some wonderful characters, haven't we? I think we've seen some with shades on. Yes. We've got the like, others rocking their full kit. They well. are, they are. And to be, you know, we say to them, it doesn't matter whether you're a football fan or whether you're just starting out, just come along, have a bit of fun and, um, yeah, just do what they can. What a fantastic episode. Hopefully your heart is swelled with Welsh football goodness. But my goodness, I'm not entirely sure how I've managed to be convinced into this, but Mika's got a very interesting way of ending the show. It's going to be fun. It's going to be all fine, Lawrence. While Lawrence gets into position, I will say a very big thank you to Aber Valley FC for having us at their huddle session. Make sure you tune into tomorrow's live show as we will be joined by Johnny Owen, Welsh fan extraordinaire and filmmaker. Make sure you're tagging us in all your Euros fun with the, with the hashtag FC Cymru Euros Tour. But all that is left to do is to say, girls, are you ready? Yeah.